how to create a calculated field on a page in Business Central using just the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, one of the newest features in the simple object designer is the ability to just calculate something on a, on a page and, and show the result of that. Um, so this is not a really a true field. This is a calculated on the fly field. Uh, this is also different from from a flow field where we go out and calculate the sum of records somewhere else, like the the, the balance on a customer. That's a flow field. So in this case, it might be flow fields that we are calculating on to get a different result. Um, let me show how that works. And actually, we start, now let's start here on on the road center where you can see that that. There are two built-in fields, the overview sales invoice amount and the overview purchase invoice amount. Uh, so this is how much we are supposed to get and this is how much we're supposed to pay. So I added a new field here that is the difference. So this is the positive liquidity out uh, impact from, from these two things. Um, but let me show how I, how I created this. Um, of sample. Let me type simple instead. I go into the simple object designer and I select the new function create calculator fields. And we see it's here the 0365 activities. That's actually the thing that's on the page that is shown on, on the role center. And I have given this a, a name which is actually just just it has to have a name that's how it works behind the scene what type it is in this case we're calculating numbers so this is a decimal i give it a caption we saw that and i want to add it after the overdue purchase invoice amount and if i click on it i want to drill down right now apparently to page one i can do a bit more of styling if i want that um but the real uh value lies in that if I hit edit, edit expression. So now this one, this is where I have created the expression saying that rec dot overdue sales in was mount minus something else. Um and and I can write something in here and it's okay. But for some reason now let's put a parenthesis around that and say so times two and a half. Uh, and I think this looks fine. So let me hit verify expression. This looks fine. Let's say that for some reason I was typing, maybe I, I was thinking I needed to add something else and I typed the plus and then I forgot to add type. So I hit verify expression again. And now it says syntax error. And then blank is an unknown identifier, meaning that there's something wrong. There's like a blank thing here that we don't know what to do with. Um, so I can, and now we go, okay. Um, let me show you another example. So here in, on the customer card, I think I started, but I never actually created something. Um, so maybe, and this, and, and, and you can see in this one, yeah, yeah, that's okay. I've told that now I'm calculating text, which you can do. Um, and, and text, you can say text has to be in quotes. So I could do hello plus world and look, see that I put this in quotes because these are text constants. So now the result, I can verify this one and it's happy. So this will say hello world with no space between them. So I could, let's, let's say I want to add, add the space there, then it would be hello space world. Uh, if I add it here, it'll still be hello space world. I could go in and then add an empty one with a with a space in between the two single quotes. And that will also hello space world. But hello space world. I am wearing an asset t-shirt. Um, but, but that's actually not what I want to do. I want to create a combined name field here. Um, and so, so I want to use some of the other fields, uh, but I can't remember how I do that. So I have to use the cheat sheet and that's what it's for. So I hit the cheat sheet and then I find a name field here. 
There you go. And now it says rec.name. Oh, that's good. And now I already remember that if I want a space between them, I say plus and then I add a space and do plus again. And I use the cheat sheet once more and I find name two. Uh, and maybe I would just want to add, I do the same thing again. And let's also add the address. And I verify that we are still okay with this. So now I created a field where I concatenated three different strings into a single field. Uh, of course, if, if, I, if I now said times, then I went in and said times, let's find a good one here. Actually, the cheat sheet is kind of smart because the cheat sheet is saying, nah, Eric, you cannot, find a number field in here because I know that you're trying to build a text. So I will con I will only show you what's possible uh, with texts. Uh, but but let's say that I I am resourceful so I know that there is a rig dot balance. Right? So we verify expression and then say oh hang on buddy. You have text and decimals in the same expression. You cannot do that. It's not allowed. So, so do something else. And uh, and now we're good. So I can close this one. I close this one, and then I can say publish. And as soon as you hit publish in uh, Simple Object Design, a lot of things happens at the same time. Almost the first thing that happens is that. The similar big science starts writing all the code. Uh, so, and writing code the same way as if you came to me and said, Hey, Eric, I need a, f a field on the c customer page, customer card that takes the name and name to an address and build a single field with that. And then I also need something on the role center that calculates stuff. Then I would write that code. And the simple object designer is doing the same thing here. Um, then, Several things happen. After it's done writing code, it's compiling, it's building the, the app. So it's building a true app, just like if you had a developer building an app for you. It's building that app. And then two things happen at the same time. One is that I get the app downloaded. So I can, if I'm working with this in the sandbox, as you should, then when your app is perfect, you take that app and you deploy it to your production environment. Because I also answered yes, so at the same time, this app is also getting deployed to the sandbox I'm working in right now. So I can try out my changes right away. And this typically takes Microsoft a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, and whenever I'm going to show this, it takes longer, of course. Um, but the app is sent to Microsoft, and then we can see that they're working on actually installing that app into this sandbox. Uh, and now we're just waiting for the last two steps, and then we're ready to test our changes. And we can see waiting for management service deployment to complete. Uh, and of course, you know, when I'm not recording videos, this only takes a minute and 20 seconds, but when I'm recording, it will take slightly longer. There we go, deployment completed, successful. So I will close this out. And since we, I deployed this within, but it's always a good idea after you deployed an app to just reload the, the Business Central so you're sure that you actually have the new thing. So I can go into, we still have, hey, hang on, we did it, we made a change here, I forgot that. So now it's no longer uh, 30,000, I think we said times two and a half. So now this one has a number that nobody would understand. Um, and if I go into this one, we can see that combined name has the, uh, in this case, there is no name two on this customer. So it has the, the name plus, uh, plus the address. And we can see that if I click on this, I think I set it to go to somewhere random, which was apparently the, the currency card. 
so you you can define where where to go if if clicked on. Um, So that is a calculated field uh, on a page. Um, you can try this out yourself in, in a sandbox. You can download uh, the Simple Object Designer from a uh, uh, from App Source, and and all all features are available uh, in, to try out in the sandbox. The only thing you cannot do is that when you're when you're done with your app, you cannot deploy it to production. That does require a license for the Simple Object Designer. Um, but there's a link below, you can try it out and then let us know how it goes. Thanks for watching.